region-wide, the fire danger stays high because of high pressure that's kept it drier than it needs to be. Well, the solution, of course, remains rain to the problem or for the problem. And, oh, we just might have a little bit of rain coming around this weekend from a pair of troughs of lower pressure, but they're fairly weak. So the chances for rain only runs about 30 to 40 percent. But we do get a chance on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. And maybe we'll get rain totals like this by Sunday night. It usually takes about a quarter of an inch to make a dent in a, in a fire threat. And it looks like the Twin Ports could be there, some towns in Wisconsin. A lot of Minnesotans might only be around a tenth of an inch. So this rain system this weekend isn't everything we need, but it's about all we get for a while. So we'll have to take it and run with it. Now let's talk about the short-term forecast. So for Thursday night into Friday morning, partly cloudy sky with Minnesota low temps in the 40s. In Wisconsin and Michigan, they'll be in the 40s as well. But the partly cloudy sky gives way towards a 30% rain chance in Wisconsin and the UP for Friday, especially in the afternoon. High temp 65 to 68, a little warmer than normal. Minnesota numbers, they'll be in the 60s as well. 63 by the lake to 68 down towards Moose Lake, 30% shower chance, which again becomes a 40% shower chance for Saturday, and it falls back to a 30% chance on Sunday. Then we regroup on Monday with dry conditions and even Duluth superior temperatures getting into the 70s. That may be enough heat from the ground and enough convection to trigger another round of showers next week, which you can find more about by checking out my seven-day forecast on the CBS3 Evening News at 5, 6, and 10 p.m.